Welcome to this course on start your journey from embedded to IoT. We will be talking about the Arduino Uno hardware. When we have talk about the Arduino, so we have talk about the Arduino is both software and hardware. So first we will going to talk about the hardware. So when we are talking about the hardware, you will going to see this is the board which you will going to see in your course that we will be using this board to make our small small project we will be using this arduino uno board so you can see that we have got this arduino it, it is written here and this is the symbol of the arduino you can see this is the symbol of the arduino it the 8 if you see it, it is written like this 8 okay minus plus and this is the uno board this is the uno board we are using so this is the arduino uno board so i will be explaining you this thing on the slide and I will going to show you this physical board which is with me also. So uh, first let me explain you what are the functions available on this board. So if you see that the first function which we have got is the external power. So if you want to provide the external power that means if you want to connect your board with the battery. You have seen the in, when you are purchasing a toys. Okay, so you don't have to put a, every time the charger mobile charger to it or a wire to it. Okay, so that it will going to operate. So what you can do, you can just provide the, if you want to provide the external power to it. So you can connect the battery and you can just put it uh, here. So this Arduino board will going to be on. Another thing is that we have got the USB port. You can see this is the USB port. Like a charger, when you have a charger uh, and if you want to transfer the data from your mobile phone to the laptop. So you can see that you have got a USB cable. Okay. So at one side it is a USB port and another side you have got a micro USB port. So when we are writing a program, when we have to upload the program, you can see this is the microcontroller chip. Can you see? This is the microcontroller chip. So when you have to upload this uh, program, when you have to upload the program on this microcontroller chip with the help of your laptop, okay. So you, what you can do, you can just connect the USB cable. Let's say we are talk, we will going to talk about the uh, to upload the program with the help of a laptop so we have to connect in this arduino uno board and one port of the usb will going to be connected to the your laptop and i will going to show you which usb cable we are using so generally you can see that uh, we have got a uh, different types of usb cables coming so let's take if you are using the old mobile so you can see that we have got a micro usb cable nowadays you can see that we have got a type c cable in a similar way, when we are using this Arduino Uno board to upload the program from the laptop to this Arduino board, so we will be using a type AB cable. Okay, that type AB cable is also you can see that these cables are the cables which you use in your printer. So I will going to show that cable also how it is going to look like. Then you can see that. This is the reset button. If you want to reset your Arduino board, so you have to, you can press this button and the, all the things will going to be resetted. First, we have got the power button. So power button means that uh, if you want to connect your Arduino board with the LED, so you have to give the power to the LED, then only it will going to turn on and off. So from where you will going to give the LED a power? So we have got a power button. So generally we talk about the power, so we have got a power in the form of volt also and we have got a power in the form of a ground. So in your home you have seen that we have a ground wire also available, okay that means whatever the connection we are making, we make a, a main supply to the switch and then we will going to ground the wire. So in a similar way whenever we are connecting the LED also, we have to give a supply to the LED. And in a similar way, we have to ground the wire also. So you can see that we can give a 3.3 volt supply, we can give a 5 volt supply. So, so two type of supplies are available in the Arduino Uno board. One is 3.3 volt and another is 5 volt. Okay, and then you can see that we have got a ground, ground. And then we have got a V in supply if you want to give some variable supply. Then we have got a AVR. So AVR microcontrollers, when you were going to study about the microcontroller in details, then you will going to heard about this AVR family. Okay, so these are AVR families are the microcontroller families which are being used to design the chips, microcontroller chips. Okay, so in this we have got a ports. So you can see that we have got PB, you can say PB. So this is a port B, PD, port D, PC, port C. So we have got these ports. 
So if you remember, I have shown you that microcontroller. In that microcontroller, I have told you that we have got the input pin, we have got the output pin, we have got the timers. So how this uh, pin will go into which port will going to act as an input pin, which pin will going to act as a digital pin, which pin will going to act as an analog pin. So we have got a port that are available in any of the microcontroller. We will have a we have got a port and we will going to uh, see. We will not going to cover this ABR port in this uh, lecture because this is a vast topic. But you will going to find that when you will going to study about the microcontroller, you will going to find that we have got a ports that are being used for the particular addressing. Then we have got a digital pin. Here you can see pin number zero, one, two, three, four. 5 6 7 okay 8 9 10 11 12 13 like this so in we have got a digital pin we count the number okay so you will going to find that we have got a 14 digital pins available so what are the digital pin you have heard about that we have got an analog signal we have got a digital signal. so when we want to work on a digital signal we have to connect the pin on this port if we have to work on the analog signal you can see that we have got the analog signal we have to connect the pin on this port you can see a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 so we have got six analog pin this is clear to you so we have got if we are working on a digital we will going to connect our uh, whatever the system we have got we have let's talk about the led just take an example of a led only if i want to give the input in the form of either low or high that means digital means zero and one either it will be low or it will be high so I, I have to make the LED to be either on or off. So I will be using this digital pin. If I want to vary the LED, okay, that means I have to do some variation of a voltage, okay, from some uh, voltage to the some different voltage, okay. So what in that what I will be using? I will be using my analog pins. So we have got a 14 digital pins and we have got a six analog. Then we have got a serial port. Serial port means that whenever we want to send the data from the Arduino board to the other devices. I have a Bluetooth device. I have connected my Arduino board and I have connected a Bluetooth device. So how the data will going to be sent from the Arduino to the Bluetooth and then from the Bluetooth to the other device. Let's say I have connected my mobile. So for that you know that whenever we are talking about the connectivity that means whenever you have seen that uh, whenever you are using your internet also you have seen that we have got a up link and down link you are measuring the speed on the speed test so you can see that you have got a down link uh, speed and you have got a uploading speed okay so what is this that means how the data is being transmitted and how the how much data is being received that speed we are measuring from there so what is the speed so in a similar way we can say that when we have to send the data we have to transmit the data from Arduino board to the other device we are using the TX terminal and when we are receiving some device some signal from from other devices let's say our mobile phone to the Arduino board so we will be using the receive signal. let me clear this one this is my board Arduino board and I have connected this LED here I have connected this LED now what I have to do let's say I have connected this board with the mobile phone now if I want to send the signal from the mobile phone to the LED that is this microcontroller let's say I am writing here M for the microcontroller then what I am doing I am transmitting the signal I am doing the transmitting the signal okay from the mobile to the microcontroller so let's say let's consider this as a tx okay and if i'm sending i'm receiving okay any signal from the microcontroller to the mobile then i will going to say it as a rx so in this mobile phone we have got a tx transmitting channel and the receiver channel in a similar way you can see that we have got a tx okay so tx you can see the arrow is going outside so we are transmitted and the at the receiver rx you can see the arrow is coming downward side that is inside that means anything is coming into the microcontroller chip so rx arrow you can see and you can see the transmitting arrow outside then you can see the interrupt so whenever uh, we are doing some work and suppose this interrupt occur let's say take an example that interrupt is that what whenever you are performing some particular task and some 
event occur that is considered as an interrupt so let's say you are watching movie at your home suddenly somebody rang your doorbell so what is that that is the interrupt you were watching the movie somebody came at your door you were disturbed so we can say that there was an interrupt the person who came at your house was the interrupt so in the similar way we how we will going to handle that interrupt if you see okay i am i am watching movie and the person who is at my doorbell if you have installed some camera on your house if you see okay that that is not an important person interrupt so you will continue with the your movie and the person will just again one or two or three more times it will going to press the button and he or she will go away okay but you see that okay no somebody some of your neighbor or your some good friend has arrived at your house okay so what you will going to do you will going to stop your movie and will going to open that door so we can say that when we are handling this interrupt we have got the priority so we have to see the interrupt which is coming has got the higher priority or we have got the lower priority okay so we will going to discuss this thing in a much detail when you will going to study about the course on the microprocessor and microcontroller then we have got the serial peripheral interface that is planned for the spi so this is a synchronous serial communication interface specifically used for the short distance communication so we have got the skk miso ss mosi then we have got the i2c pin that are being used as a serial communication protocol so that the data can be transferred bit by bit along a single wire so whenever we want to transfer the data bit by bit we are using this i2c thing then we have got a pulse width modulation okay this is very important where we have mentioned this pulse width modulation let's say pin number 11 so you can find some symbol like this okay you can find the symbol at the pin number 10 you can find the symbol at pin number 9 similarly you can find the symbol this at pin number 6 5 3 okay so all these symbols are representing that the arduino uno board which you are using the pin which are having this symbol which can be used as your pulse width modulation pin so what is the pulse width modulation pin is that it is a method of reducing the average power delivered by an electrical signal so that you can save your energy so let's say uh, suppose if uh, i talk about the duty cycle so let's say if i am saying that uh, 50% duty cycle so what i can say i have a led this is my led and i want to make this led on and off that i want that this led should be on for the 1 millisecond and i want this led should be off for the 1 millisecond so what i can say that i am using the 50% duty cycle that this on time should be of 1 millisecond and this off time should be of 1 millisecond so what we are saying this is the on time of the led and this is the off time of the led now i want that this led should be on and off for the 75% of the duty cycle so what i can do i can increase this pulse duration i can increase the width of this pulse on so what i can do i can expand this pulse so what i can do i can say okay if i am saying 75% duty cycle dc so what i am trying to say that this pulse will be on let's say if i am talking about the let's say 3 millisecond this this will be on for the 3 millisecond and this will be off for 1 millisecond so what you can see if you compare that now the time period of on has been increased that means we have increased that width of the on time so this is known as a pulse width modulation we have modulated the width okay i hope uh, this uh, arduino you know boards pin are clear to you